Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Let's see. Now, last time we were dealing with some of these hordes, trying to get a few at a time, and not being very successful at it. I think, and this is a bit of a risk, but we're going to try a little Pied Piper action here. This is probably a poor idea, but it might work. And pull these guys this way. And then we're going to join them up with this group that's down here. And lead them further south, and then we'll ditch them. That's the plan. Which might get us enough um, people away from this storage unit that we can actually deal with it. But we'll see if this actually functions. This may be a... Uh, this may not work there's a high probability chance that this won't work. Ah, it's not high. Actually, I take that back. It's not a high probability. There's a sort of even money chance that this doesn't work. But we'll see. Nope, another group there. We are going to pull back this way, and we're out of here. Thanks for the, thanks for the memories, everybody. Then we'll just circle around this way. We'll use the houses here to break our line of sight. Circle around the, this up here, and looks like we need to eat something. I don't have any active food. We do not. Uh, we don't have any food we can eat easily. All right, I guess we're gonna drink um, drink a fourth of this. That has some nutrition to it. So yeah, that'll that'll give us a slightly fed bonus. All right, so that should have lost all those guys, or at least most of them. Which hopefully means that we have a bit more clear access to the... Don't get stuck in the trees, dude. Alright, so that cleared the road. Except for down there. Huh. That actually worked pretty well. Wonder if we can lead, if we can get these guys to come. A few at a time. Oh, looks like maybe we got two. Unless they decide to do the zombie shuffle and just jump over the fence in forever. Nope, you guys actually want, want a piece of me, huh? Alright, I can accommodate. Alright, there we go. That's one. Hey, beard face. Ah, oh, that was good timing. Hey, when I hit you, you're supposed to fall down. Don't you know the rules? There we go. Alright, let's see. Pistol. I'll take it. It looks like it's got some good uh, uh, additions to it that we probably didn't have on our other pistol that we had. I'm For purely uh, egotistical reasons, I want to see how many zombies we've killed. 301. That's not many, as many as I thought. We were doing better than that. Not that it's a, you know, a dick-waving competition or anything. But it is a little bit. <laughs> Are you not coming? I thought you were coming. Right, let's jump this. Hey guys. Let's pull them all. I'm pull them all, join up with this group, and then go over that fence on the far side. Let's not get trapped. Don't get trapped. Don't get trapped. Alright, so we're gonna go. Over this fence. So the jumping fences like this, like I just did, is one of the things that we potentially will potentially get difficult in the next... I'm not sure if it's in the next patch, but whenever they added the new animations in. Because uh, clumsiness and tripping and things and failing to jump fences when you try to jump them is a, a new uh, mechanic that's being added when they do the new animations. So I'm just going to swing around this way. Um... Which I think sounds pretty neat, although I'm slightly terrified of the uh, inevitable time when I try to go over a fence and I fail when there's zombies on my tail. Because you know that's only a matter of time <laughs> before that happens. Let's jump the fence. All right, let's deal with this guy, and then we'll try and deal with this one's here. This area is getting moderate, moderately safe. Not drastically safe, but moderately safe. 
Gotta make sure, I'm trying to keep an eye on the clock because we have to make sure we leave enough time to get home. Um, a helpful commenter told me that I do have a, actually, in fact, do have a saw back home. So it would be nice to go home and do some, uh, some carpentry work. But, that'll probably be next episode, judging from our timing right now. Yeah, stay away. Oh, oh, no, none of that. No biting. Alright. Get this guy. Probably have to deal with her. And we might actually be able to get into the storage unit. If we can actually get in the door. The door might be locked, in which case this whole <laughs> whole thing is kind of for naught. Because I don't really want to waste my um, durability on my axe or my bat here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, trying to bust down this door. Because our axes are precious to us. We should probably take one of these. I'm going to take sneaking. Hey, it is open. Okay, good. Nothing in here. And there's oftentimes not that much useful in here, but let's go down the hallway. Let's check the hallways, make sure they're clear first before we do anything else. Thing down there? Nope. Alright. Hallway looks clear. What's happening in here? Anything? Nothing? Crate's empty? Alright, okay, so let's see. Useless table, okay. Just zoom in a little bit here so we don't get surprised as much. Alright. <laughs> that, that was not my most graceful move there, but that was okay. It worked out. Come on. Hopefully there's just the two. And I'm not risking my life here. Beta blockers, I'll take them. I hear, gr I hear grumbling, but maybe just be the zombies outside. Rope, battery, I'll take all this stuff. Not the best finds ever, but they're not bad. Anybody in there? Nope. Two crates. A trowel! Awesome, farming. Farming is now a possibility. As far as I'm concerned, this whole trip is worth it now. Alright, let's see. Anybody? Anybody home? Nope. Empty room. Empty... Oh, I see a crate. Oh, hello. Just gotta cave his head in. Like you do. Alright, nothing there. Another trowel. Alright. It's trowel city. Gray paint kettle. Alright, let's check this side of things. Empty one. Anybody? Anybody home? No, oh, also empty. If we had a sledgehammer, we could really check these properly because there's the ones there's the ones from the outside that you can only access by breaking down walls. But we do not have a sledgehammer. You guys, um, yeah, I'll kill them. They don't really need to kill these guys. There's nothing useful in here. But why not? I got nothing better to do. I always think that it's, I always give, in my mind, when I'm watching The Walking Dead, I always give them a hard time. But they're crossed by dead bodies, that, or what they think are dead bodies. And don't just stab them in the head as they're passing by. Or they see a zombie that's like stuck somewhere. And they don't just take the couple of seconds it would take to kill it. Um, and then inevitably, or not inevitably, but often, that zombie is then killing one of their friends in a future episode, or just... You know, like 10 minutes later, I'd just be like, come on, guys. I know it's a bit of a pain, but if you just took a few minutes out of your day and, you know, eliminated every zombie that crosses your path, a watering can, I'll take that, then you would have way less times where zombies jump out of, of uh, nowhere and attack you and kill you and your friends. But, I don't know. Apparently, I'm not a zombie expert. Paintbrush... Let's see. Nope, nothing. Okay, right, we're almost done with this place. It's probably just this one left. Okay. Why don't you come here? Can you come here? Let's close the door. So we only have to deal with her for the moment. I'm kicking the door. 
I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. There you are. Hey, hey. I hate those doors. They mess up the things. You get slightly blocked by the door, and then you can't function properly. I'm going to leave that pistol behind. We're good on pistols. Can I get close enough for that? I can. Not that there's anything useful in it, but I can get close enough for it. All right. Storage unit's done. Did I ever get hurt? No. Okay. All right. We're going to head home. That's the plan for now. And we'll probably try and do some, probably some farming. Maybe some carpentry. We'll see what, we'll see how much time we have when we get back. But I would very much like to do some farming. Come on. Get him. There we go. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, I expect to see a horde along this path somewhere. Oh, they, they heard me. Okay. We're just going to cut through here. Oh, some zombies in there. God, I love I love sprinting level 2. I feel like that's the, my favorite part about taking this fitness instructor per, uh, job is sprinting level 2. Where you go? I decide. I think I'm going to go up this side of this fence. Might not be a good choice. Let's give it a shot, though. Let's live on the edge. Let's see what we see. It's always good to clear some zombies out when you have the chance. Clearing them out in ones and twos means it so you don't have to take them in uh, hordes later, or at least reduces the hordes later. Come on. Gotta step in the right place. There we go. Alright, this lady saw me too. Anything useful? No. Pretty sure I didn't see anything useful in that little <laughs> blinking that came up. Alright. Okay, this group saw me. Okay. Never mind. We'll just go through the section of town that we know is safe. Let's go this way. Now we may have had some respawn because it's been like a day or so since we were over here. That's usually all you need to get a little respawn. But we'll see. Should only be a couple of them if it is because it doesn't respawn a whole, it doesn't <laughs> like drop an entire horde into the area when you leave it because that would be ridiculous. Thus it would make it impossible to clear anywhere because you wouldn't be able to leave. Alright, so it still seems pretty clear over here. There's a couple of ones and twos over here that we should probably deal with. A little bit closer to home than I would prefer. Hello. I think I just got a skill up for just being close to that zombie. Get experience by just being nearby. Sets my heart all aflutter. Alright. You, sir? How did you get on this side of the fence? Alright. There we go. Stomp him to death. Anybody behind here? No? Why do I hear zombies making, like, lunging noises? Alright. Let's check around the house. Hmm. Maybe there was some sort of meta noise I didn't hear. So there's definitely zombies heading down this way for some reason. Did they hear me from the other side of the fence? They might have. Well, we'll let them do their thing. Alright, so let's see. Nothing. Nobody down here. Nobody down here. Alright. So we're going to cruise in here and get our axe. We may not actually do any um, farming this episode. We may hold that off and just do a little bit of a lovely um, tree killing. Ah, oh, crap. No, stop it. Rope, red wine, pistol, lighter, not lighter, catch it. Alright, we'll do this one a little bit at a time here. Speed it up so we don't have to wait on it all. Alright, 
So watering can over here, two beta blockers and a battery, and one of the trowels goes over here. Alright, back over here we'll get the axe out so that I can ax you a question. I'm so clever. So let me see if I can find that saw that we supposedly have. Nope. Yep, there it is. Thank you, commenter. I would have wandered around for in the wilderness for days looking for any one of those. You are my hero. Alright, let's cut. clear some of these trees out here. Get some, uh... I can't remember if we get skill points for this or not. We do not. Just kicking down trees doesn't give you any skill ups. That's okay. Makes the uh, garden look nicer. We, uh, there you go. Got that down. It's starting to get worn out. Now we can saw those logs. And that'll give us skill ups. But apparently just knocking them down doesn't. But right now we're just making our make our home a little prettier by not having these trees, little tiny scrubby trees all over the place. Alright, let's get this one. Didn't mean to remove grass, but that's okay. Something we'll have to do eventually anyways. Probably need to get these bodies out of here and clean up the blood at some point as well. We don't have to mechanically, it doesn't matter. It's not like there's contamination from being close to the dead bodies or anything. But, you know, aesthetically, it's a good idea. Come on. Alright, we'll get rid of this little grove here and then probably need to... Oh, he's got excessive exertion. Can he even cut this down? No, he can. But barely. Getting super slow. Alright, we're going to have to stop here. No more of that. Let's head inside. Get him something to eat and look about look around to go into bed. That's probably the best idea. Alright, give me some chips. Get a quarter of these chips. It's fine. Um do we just go to bed? I feel like maybe we just go to bed. Do I have a book that I'm reading? I do have a book I'm reading. Alright, we're going to fast forward until about 17, 1800, probably 1800. That seems like the probably a good time. Fast forward to 1800, and then we'll put him to sleep. Yeah, 1730. We'll do 7, we'll split the difference. There we go. And he's going to go to sleep for 11 hours, apparently. He's very tired. I bet this doesn't even clear it all out of the way. 11 hours probably won't even clear it all. Because he's a sleepyhead. That's his thing. It's 4.30. Let's sleep for another... 5 hours. That'll be 9.30. Just do most of it, yeah. Alright. Let's grab some seeds. What do we... Actually, we don't have the water right now. I need to go collect water from different places. So we'll... We'll focus on the trees right now which is going to make today kind of a wasted day in terms of his abilities because um, if you get excessively tired early on it's not much you can do for the rest of the day that's okay it's not like we're it's not really like we're racing the clock with the ability to um, keep the power on or anything it's just you know just normal stuff all right let's go see just because I'm in the mood to, to kill at least a couple of zombies this morning. Let's see if those zombies that wandered around this way are still here. With the axe out, we should be able to deal with them. No problem. Just setting them up and knocking them down. Come on. Didn't really mean to swing at the axe at the ground. I just got a little excited. Little axe happy. Happens. I'm sure you've had it. Axe lust. Oh, I guess they're gone from being back behind there. Okay. 
Anybody else over here that needs an axe to the face? No? They're up there. Um, actually, I'm going to take out that group. There's, not, there's a few, There's the number of them seems low enough that I can take them. Probably, unless there's more of them behind that house than I can see right now. <laughs> oh, let's swing in the right direction, shall we? Can you get him? Can you get her, please? Thank you. Where'd those other ones go? Inside? Let's went inside. Alright, I got that. Kitchen knife. Where'd you go, guys? Did you go inside? Nope. Well, they circled around the back of the house. That's... <laughs> He wants to wander around the house and then bang on the back window. It's what he's into. It's his thing. Alright, can you come here? I thought there were two of them. Weren't there two of them before? I feel like there were two of them. Oh well. Oh well. So much for that. Alright. Let's see. What time is it? Alright, looks like we need to probably stop for today. Um... Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button. It helps me out a great deal. And I will see you guys back here later for some more Project Zomboid. Thanks so much.